Hi. Um, sorry it's so dark in here, way up in the cold north, but um, in a month or so, maybe two months, I'm going to Australia. Yeah. Um, you might have heard of Australia. It's uh, the second largest of the, uh, the pink maps. Yeah, okay, so you say, um, yeah, I know where Australia is. Everybody and his hamster go to Australia, so what's the big deal? Well, um, that, that's pretty true to a lot of people from around where I live. They go to Australia when they've just finished high school or, um, or just before the kids start school. And they ask me, you know, what are Australians like? And um, I usually tell them that Australians are really hospitable. They're so, their, their hospitality doesn't seem to have any limits at all. And they're also really straightforward people. Uh, they don't beat around the bush. And, um, well, they're just generally really nice people. Australia's a really nice place to be. Um, one of the things I don't tell people who ask me what Australians are like is the uh, the odd habit that Australians have of uh, when they answer questions because Australians don't really answer questions they sort of ask answers um, when you um, ask an Australian where he comes from he'll say um, Melbourne uh, like he's not sure where he comes from you know so what's your name um, Bob? Um, <laughs> that's a really strange trait that Australians have. Another thing that Australians, um, really where Australians differ from everywhere, everybody else, is um, their humility. They are so humble, um, sometimes to the point of annoyance. Uh, like if you ask an Australian, um, uh, what do you do for a living? Uh, they'll say, oh, I'm just an electrician. Or, um, oh, I'm just a waiter. Um, what do you do for a living? Oh, I'm just an astronaut. <laughs> it's just sort of like, why are you putting yourself down? Then there are some Australians, maybe they're New Zealanders living in Australia, that then overcompensate for this generic trait that they have of being humble. And um, they must go to courses or something. And then uh, suddenly one day you meet them and they say like, I'm so excited, you know, and you sort of think, okay, the guy's won the lotto or something. Um, but they're excited about everything then, you know, when they're overcompensating for their humility, you know, they say, oh, I'm so excited, we're having leftovers for dinner, or um, uh, I just landed a job cleaning bricks, I'm so excited. Um, and they use words like fantastic and wonderful, you know, um, they say, these sandwiches are fantastic. <laughs> Sandwiches are never fantastic. Um, they're good. When they're good, they're good. Um, but they're never fantastic. And um, it's not an Australian trait to give away all your adjectives at once. Um, because if sandwiches are fantastic, what are you going to say when you get lobster? Anyway, back to humility. Australians are really good swimmers. Well, they have to be to get there. Um, and so, of course, they, they do really well in the Olympics. And I remember when I was a kid, there was this uh, one swimmer who came home with like a wheelbarrow full of medals, most of them gold. And uh, the newspaper, uh, I'm not going to say which one, in, in uh, Sydney, had the headline, not bad for an Aussie. I thought, what? <laughs> you know, any other country uh, would be proud as peacocks to uh, get that many medals. 
but I'm still Australian enough to know that um, pride is a silly sentiment. Uh, on the other hand, Aussies, don't put yourself down. Learn to live with the fact that you're 20 million of the greatest people in the world. Bye.